Coming up on Mountain News this morning, the city of Averts has had trouble recently with murky water and advised people not to drink from its system. And we take a look at some of the issues the Commonwealth will tackle next year when lawmakers return to office. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Olivia Calfee. We are coming up on 633 on November 27th. Now let's check in with Chief Forecaster Brandon Robinson for a look at your forecast this morning. And Brandon, we're feeling those chilly temperatures today. And now that Thanksgiving is over, I guess for everyone, it's officially the holiday Christmas season. So a lot to look forward we're, to. We're coasting then. And I told Madison on Friday, I said, I don't want to hear no more excuses. <laughs> Thanksgiving's in the rear view mirror. I said, it's full on, full it on is. Christmas at this point. So there you go. All right, let's get into the forecast this morning. Olivia's right. It is definitely chilly out there. As we see, cold front has went by, US 119, US 23. There's some light traffic going up Jenkins Mountain into Virginia, but overall, not a whole lot of action this morning. Those temperatures, here's the thing. Usually around 7 o'clock is the coldest part of the day. Not today. That cold front's still pushing through. So we're down to 31 in London, 30 in Williamsburg, 32 Somerset, Irvin, Moorhead, Jackson, uh, Hazard, and Wise. So again, a lot of folks out there, 35 or below. Grundy holding on to 37 there along with Charleston, West Virginia. But I'd say that'll change here for too long. By the time we get to about 7 o'clock, will be about 32. By about 9 o'clock, I expect most of us to be about 31, and then we'll start to go in the right direction as those clouds start to clear to some sunshine later on this afternoon. I'll have the rest of the forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Olivia? Brandon, thank you. For the past couple of days, city officials in Everts have urged folks living there to not use the water due to high turbidity levels. A water sample taken on Tuesday showed the high levels and people from there say they have the water is constantly turned off. Avery Uig says this has impacted several folks in the city. I for one have missed work. I know kids who have missed school because they don't have clean water to bathe in. I have also seen people, you know, uh, claim to be sick over the water making them sick. Uh, our water is sporadically on and off constantly. We have reached out to the water plant for comment and we are still waiting on a response. A home is badly damaged after a fire in East Bernstadt. The fire broke out Saturday night along North US Highway 25. People were still inside the home when firefighters arrived, but they were able to make it out safely. Firefighters quickly contained the fire to just outside of the room where it began. No injuries were reported. Yesterday, both the Powell County Search and Rescue and the Estill County Rescue Squad responded to a missing hunter. The two rescue teams were searching for the missing and possibly injured hunter off Marble Yard Road in Powell County. The report that about one and a half miles into the search, they located the hunter who stumbled down a ravine. The hunter did not have any major injuries and was able to walk out of the woods on his own. The Kentucky Transportation Cabinet announced a road closure today in Johnson County. The work will be along Kentucky 825 at mile marker 1.1 near Oil Springs. This is 1.1 miles east of Kentucky 40 and crews are expected to work from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. And we're just getting into the holiday season, which can bring a lot of joy, but also some sadness, especially if you're missing a loved one. Sadness and grief can be a recipe for disaster. Jonathan White, a licensed clinical social worker, says money is one of the biggest stressors, so he recommends keeping things simple for the holidays. He also says if you have lost a loved one, to embrace the memories and traditions the person left behind and focus on the positive. A lot of times I work on uh, writing gratitude letters. Uh, that's even to family members that are existing. Some ways to mitigate some of the chaos, if you will, around the table is to have people going around saying what we're thankful of. And when I see you, I think of this, or you make me laugh because of that. He also says, while it's easy to isolate yourself, if you're feeling down, try to reach out and find comfort with other people. 
When lawmakers return to Frankfurt next year, passing a new budget and assigning funding for everything will be their top priorities. Other topics include education bills and a school choice constitutional amendment. Senate President Robert Stiver says daycare reform will also be a priority to give parents more options if they work the second shift. Lawmakers are also expected to have conversations about adding exceptions to Kentucky's abortion law. It's tough and that's going to be a discussion that we'll have internally mm -hmm. to see what the caucus and the Senate in conjunction with the House will want to do. But where we will go at this point in time, I have no idea. He says one of his focuses this year is the energy policy. Stivers wants to strengthen Kentucky's energy grid after the outages experienced last year during the winter weather. Six thirty-eight here on this Monday morning and the big story today is the chill post cold front. We're looking at thirties across the board. I'm telling you, Williamsburg, I'm expecting to drop into the twenties any minute because they're at 30. But again, temperatures usually they're coldest at seven o'clock. It's going to be a little while before we get there. So look at some of these wind gusts, 20 miles per hour in Harlan. Uh, 22 at London, 17 in Pikeville, 16 in Somerset, 13 in Irvine. When you factor that into the wind chill, we're already well into the 20s. So bundle up out there this morning. Make sure you're taking your precautions. The next six hours, again, we're going to rebound. It's just going to take a little bit, and then we're going to cool right back down as we head into the nighttime hours. We're going to see possibly some snowflakes early today. I think we're past that at this point. A slow warming trend to end the week and a soggy start to December. Time now. Now is 639. We'll be right back.